Hey everyone, my name is Kevin, coming at you with another uh, Avengers Theory, and in this one we're, we're going to be talking about exactly as to why did Thor really need uh, Stormbreaker to defeat Thanos. Now, before I get into the real theory, first, just like in other every other video, let me explain something completely so that you guys know exactly as to where this theory will hold up. So in the beginning, so at the very end, or instead the middle end of Thor, where it was a post credit scene where Thor and Loki was ex was discuss discussion this was uh, debating exactly if it was a good idea to go to home uh, to Earth, with Loki being the one of the most dangerous villains in on Earth from that the Avengers have faced, and um, and Thor said it would it would be a good idea. Then, then they all said that it would be a good idea, and then all of a sudden, a giant ship comes up from the side of the escape pod that uh, Thor and Valkyrie and the rest of the gang used to escort all the Asgardian refugees all the way to uh, to Earth, and then the post credit scene ends. Then we go to Infinity War, where half of everyone, and I mean everyone, who tried to escape Asgard and go to Earth, died. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Why do you say that it, that there were only half of the people that died? How do you not know if if it was everyone? Well, it was shown in the first film. I mean, the somewhere in Infinity War where Thor said that Thanos killed half of my people and took the Space Stone, and that was actually confirmed by John, by the Russo brothers that Valkyrie, Meek, and Korg escaped with half of everyone on the ship with but where did it go i don't really know because it was never really established as to where they are and if they're ever going to return in avengers 4 but after that um now that i finally explained pretty much everything you guys need to know about the theory so that you guys know exactly as to what will happen in this theory or instead uh, a full-on discussion why did uh, thor need the uh the stormbreaker now, let's let's first explain Thor's full power. So Thor, it was told that in Thor Ragnarok, the hammer was never really his power. It was really just it, uh, it was really just um, uh, keeping his his uh, focusing his power. And now that it was gone, he had no he had no ability to actually summon any light or thunder. And then he realized that. Um, the hammer was never really the power because the power was inside him all along. And after that, he used his full on lightning powers and used the biggest lightning blast ever in the history of lightning to defeat Hela, but it never worked. So he used it again so that he can defeat Hela. It worked, and then they escaped. So, what's my point here? Well, let's just say that uh, Thor used this tactic to actually try to defeat Th Thanos and the Dark Order along with Loki, Heimdall, and Hulk. Now what if they now what if Thor actually did use that power, use his full potential on his with of thunder and lightning, and actually used it to actually defeat Thanos? Well, actually it would actually stabilize him, but only for a short time. He could use it to actually defeat Thanos, but he would just get back up in a matter of seconds. And plus he has the Black Order. He could if they're if he is down, the Black Order could actually t easily take him down. Uh, Cult of Sidian has the giant morphing hammer, and Proxima Midnight has a bunch of weapons, so even if Thanos was down, the Dark Order would actually take them down. So it would be likely that even with Heimdall, Loki, and Hulk helping them, it would be very likely that it wouldn't, wouldn't actually work. So how, so why did he need the Stormbreaker? Well, the Infinity Gauntlet is made out of Uru, and it's the only metal in the entire universe that could withstand the Infinity Gauntlets before the snap. So, Thor needed to go to Nevalir along with Rocket and Groot to, in order to get the ham a new hammer. But instead, he got an axe, and by using the Uru to make the, the Stormbreaker, it was also told that it can actually summon the Bifrost, which, which explains how he was able to travel across other worlds. Now, if he now this is pretty proven that um, Uru can withstand the Infinity Stones, all six of the Infinity Stones, which it was shown in the final scene where th where um, where Thor actually used the Stormbreaker to to shield the full-on impact 
of the Infinity Stones, and it actually went through, went into Thanos' chest. So, the Uru is the only type of metal that can actually withstand Thanos' skin, because Thanos is, like, super overpowered. Now, the reason why, now, I know what you guys are thinking, then what about Iron Man? Like, didn't, wasn't his, wasn't his giant fist enough? Well, no, it wasn't actually, because Thanos' skin was actually pretty impenetrable. His skin can actually adapt to pretty much anything, if, because, like, Iron Man, because, like, Tony shooted fire at Thanos, and there was absolutely no scars, no blisters, no nothing on his skin, which explains that Thanos was able to actually survive the fire blast that Tony shot at him. So, what is this, what am I saying here? Well, Thanos' skin is actually pretty interpenetrable. You can, you can use anything to go through him, but it won't work. Now, it did work for Nebula, for, um, uh, for Gamora, because she did use her sword to cut his throat and go through his, um, through pretty much... Um, his heart to actually strike his heart, but maybe it just doesn't work that way. Maybe it's just maybe she her weapon was actually made out of one of the uh, metal from in space that can actually go through Thanos' skin. So that's pretty much it. That exactly explains why exactly as to why Thor really needed Stormbreaker. Stormbreaker is made out of Uru that can pretty much penetrate anything and anyone no matter how hard it is, and it is able to actually withstand all six of the Infinity Stones, and it actually can go through pretty much anything, even with the Infinity Stones, which explains why exactly as to how Thanos was actually almost killed in the final battle in Infinity War. So with that out of the way, that's all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. This explains exactly as to why Thor really needed Stormbreaker, just so that he can defeat Thanos and maybe even kill him, which was really the point of his story arc. So you guys can go ahead and let me know in the comments below of which of why as to why Thor really needed Stormbreaker, because that's really my theory, or at least my full-on speculation or answer. But you guys can let me know in the comments below. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification button to be notified with more videos. And also, let me know in the comments of why you think uh, Thor needed Stormbreaker. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Kevin, and I look forward to hearing from your comments.